Hey everyone, welcome to my video. Today in this video we are going to model this nice uh, knife. Let's start by opening a new part creator. And then on the right plane, we go create a sketch, which will be 20 mm. After this operation, we go under surfaces, extruded surface, change the direction and we create a graft, which will be 250 mm long. After this operation, we go create on top plane a sketch and we look there normal to circulate your space on keyboard. The menu will show up. And then here I'm going to create an 80 mm line. It's a two line. After this operation, we go trim. And standard is active, trim to allow sketch, and we will remove selection. This area will be removed. We look now from front. There will be another uh, trim operation and we need another sketch. And we need a spline here. We say replace the spline. And we gave two time tangency by clicking our control mouse button. This is 100. This will be. 300 a spline like this and then we make again a trim we remove unnecessary part and we have one more trim option which will be on top we create a spline again somewhere here and we press our control by pressing, we select two object and we give tangency here 75 and here I'm going to give one angle which will be 80 degree and now I will place this one on my origin. Here we have 100 tangency value. Now one more spline. And I'm going to give same angle. 80. I'm going to give here one and a half millimeter distance. And tangency value will be same to the starting point our spline is going uh, same with the old one and here I'm going to give another angular value which is 75 from this point to here 13 and a half and we could give here a 50 tangency value when you look is everything uh, blue uh, black and that means fully defined it is important to work with fully defined sketches you pick the sketch now you go trim and that related area projection related area will be shown up and then we just say you just go after this operation we will create our cutting edge. We pick here from a, here a, a plane. We pick a line. And I pick my front plane. I create here on an angle plane a tangent to this line. A sketch. If you look from top. I place here two line and one spline and 
let's kill values first 130 45 130 these are tendency values Yes, this was what we were uh, looking for. I can cl uh, close that plane. We create one more surface. Yes, guys, it is looking very nice. I like it. And now we look from top plane. And we create here one more spline. Say to this guy, tangent tangency value will be 50 in order to give you correct values to be able to have same results i'm giving sometimes extra dimensions 35 and 75 it is looking good we create this on top plane. Now we are going to connect from front plane. That's why the connection will be here in the three dimensional area. I'm going to combine two sketch in order to have a good connection. That's why I'm creating now two time spline. Yes, this will be here tangent, this will be here tangent. 50 by 50. Yes, now we can go to the area where we can create 3D dimensional uh, curve by using two time to the sketch when we click it as you see we have here in the, on the screen three dimensional curve that's good and then we can pass the boundary surface this edge and this edge here selected and we activate here tangency uh, direction curve and our 3D curve. In this area, we place a good connection. We can hide our curve. We have now three surface bodies. We are going to combine them before our thicken operation. And we give one and a half thickness. Well, it is looking very nice. I'm satisfied with the result. I hope you can also follow steps and perform the same actions like what I did and have this nice model on your portfolio. Uh, it is good, guys. Now uh, we can make cutting edge. We are going to create a cutting edge here. If you want me to go deep in this area, the open chamfer, we create the pick edge and we create a symmetric chamfer now, which is eight millimeter deep. 0 0.75 is uh, our in y direction the, the, the dimension because taken operation was one and a half like blade the, the knife from one and a half millimeter material that's why i picked that according to your wish you can place different values and again this one after this operation this nice knife is done uh, last operation could be putting some fillets 
and I will change my radius value of course. We pick some hedges and we say pivot. Okay. Maybe it needs some extra edges. Or we gonna make a locally. Ah, stupid. Then we go make local. time this operations here done and we see here yes going good and yeah the rest is looking fine hey guys uh, thanks for watching uh, I think it's a nice example for surface stream, especially for surface stream operation and some basic surfacing commands. Also, it turned out to uh, turn into to a nice model, better than I expect. And if you search some other advanced videos, please do visit my channel. I think there is enough advanced surfacing videos with SolidWorks. Uh, I'm trying to continue to make even. Thanks for watching. Please make comment and hit the like button if you like my video. See you in next video.